Hello and welcome. So we're going to move on from our last endpoint DLP video and cover in this video exchange mail data loss prevention, creating and configuring policies and rules to block sending emails to external domains, blocking sending emails and files containing sensitive words or phrases and encrypting outgoing messages. We will configure all the policies in demo and test as a step-by-step -step guide. So keep watching and please subscribe to the channel, like and comment, that will be most appreciated. Okay, so to stop users sending email to external domains like Gmail, Hotmail, etc. We are going to create a custom DLP policy and we're going to apply this policy to exchange email only. We do have the option to apply um, this to custom groups or excluded groups. Um, so we will apply uh, this policy to all groups. So let's create a rule and we will give it a name and then we'll add a condition. Um, content is shared for Microsoft 365 with people outside my organization. Create another condition, recipient domain is. Then we can add the domains we want to block. So in this example, it's hotmail.com and gmail.com. And then we can add uh, an action restrict access or encrypt the content in M365 locations. We choose block only notify people outside of your organization. Then turn user notifications on and here you can customize the email, text and subject and also create a policy custom tips. And after that point you can choose what level of severity you wish the alert to be. Um, and then we click save, we review uh, what we created and then click next and then we turn the policy on immediately and submit. Okay good so with the policy set up we are now going to test blocking sending emails to gmail.com so let's attempt to send an email to our personal account at gmail.com we don't want emails or data being sent to these external accounts on the internet as this is part of our corporate policy as it could contain sensitive data and we get the policy tip that we can customize during creation of the policy when we try and send from outlook on the web we get a block message and also the outlook client we also get a warning. So in the next section, let's take a look at blocking words or phrases. Now let's create a policy that blocks words or phrases. So we create a new rule, we give it a name, and then we add a condition that content is shared from M365 outside the organization and then we add another condition with an and that subject or body contains words or phrases so let's add the words that we want the policy or email containing these words to trigger on so we will add some examples such as security pin code password lock code and door code and then we want to add an action to block only on people outside your organization. Then we turn on user notifications and then add an alert to admins. And then we click next and turn on the policy and submit. Okay, good, so let's test sending an email with the word password in it. So when we click send, the user gets a block message and the email is not sent and an alert is sent to the cloud admin with the original attachment.
Now we can also set a similar policy as the last DLP policy we created for block word and phrases in emails, but we can apply this to files as well. Okay, so we create a new rule. We add a condition um, for any mail sent outside the organization. Add another condition for document content contains words or phrases, and then add these words in and click add. And we will also add a condition for document name contains word or phrases, okay? And then add the same words and then click add. And then we will want to add an action to block only on people outside your organization. Then we turn on user notifications and add an alert to admins. And then we click next and turn on the policy and submit. OK, so let's test this out by attempting to send a mail containing a file named door code containing our door code pin. So the user gets a block message and the email is not sent and an alert is sent to the cloud admin with the original attachment. OK, so now we're going to create a policy to encrypt email messages leaving our organization. So encrypting an email message means it's converted from a readable plain text into a scrambled cipher text. So we create a rule, we give it a name, we add a condition, sender domain is. So we apply this policy to any sender domain that has the domain cloudinspired.co.uk. Now we also add a recipient domain. OK, so for example, um, we can include Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook.com. So any mail that gets sent to these domains from our domain cloudinspired.co.uk gets encrypted. Or if we just decided to encrypt any email outgoing, we wouldn't include a recipient domain here and would apply to any email outside our organization. So we add an action, restrict access or encrypt the content in M365 locations and choose encrypt email messages and encrypt. Then we turn on notifications and alerting and apply the policy. So let's test it out in the next section to see what the recipient receives. So let's demo sending an encrypted message from cloudadmin at cloudinspired.co.uk to two separate domains. The first being outlook.com and the second being yahoo.com. So if the recipient is using Outlook, then they receive the secure message with the original subject and a lock icon stating that the message is encrypted. Outlook will verify the recipient in the background after you double click on the email. It will then open just like a normal email. So the recipient doesn't need to have Outlook or Office 365 to open the encrypted email. So when we take a look at the encrypted email sent to uh, our Yahoo account, the recipient will see only the subject and a button to read the message within the mail. When you click on the read the message link, you will be sent to Outlook online where you will need to verify your account. So this is done with a one time password, which will be sent to the intended recipient or by signing in with the identity provider of your mail client. We will click sign in with a one time password that expires after 15 minutes of the request. And that's sent to our Yahoo account with a passcode. So we will copy the passcode and then paste this in for verification. And then after this point, you can read the email in the Outlook online environment. So all this activity is audited under Alerts and Activity Explorer. We can drill down and see what words some of our policies have triggered on. And we can also see a chart overview of all triggered policies. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment. Thank you very much for watching the video and see you all soon.